Hey guys and welcome to this quick walkthrough of the Ambien Command Conference app from the admin or the secretary general secretariat type perspective. So we call it the admin account, but that is really going to be your secretary general and the key members of your secretariat who manage the conference. The main thing to understand about Ambien Command obviously from the beginning is that uh, rather than in any other um, application or software for Ambien, here, everybody logs in with their own account and accesses their specific feature, you know, specific to their role, be it a chair, or organizer, or a delegate, but also specific to their individual position. So, if, uh, so obviously, a delegate of Belize is going to see something different than delegate of Switzerland, uh, for example. Anyway, there's a separate video going into the uh, details for the chair and the delegate. In this video, we're just going to focus on the admin side because that's quite a bit different. Now, let's have a look at what this screen looks like. We're here in our profile and we're just gonna select a demo conference for now um, because all the other stairs like data that we would, uh, wouldn't want to share um, or see for that matter. Um, so we see our, 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 our demo conference here, some statistics about how many people are in there. Um, then uh, top right corner, you see the conference capacity um, because since the beta peach tea update we deployed, uh, now it's a week ago, whenever you're watching this, it's gonna be a bit later probably, uh, longer, but um, you can create your own conference on mmcommand.com um, with up to 10 slots. Uh, if you need more slots, you can add them, obviously, no problem at all, um, but this is where you see how far you are away from reaching a capacity limit, um, and this counts, obviously, user accounts, meaning, um, well, chairs, delegates, uh, admins, organizers, everybody who has an account for the app, takes away one slot um, and uh, you can obviously uh, unlock more slots by going to our, our homepage and fit, checking out the upgrade tab there. So this is just to keep track of that and to make sure that your conference is always running uh, smooth and you don't uh, run into any limits um, there. Uh, anyway, as we transition down here, uh, you see the live tab. This is where you, uh, so for me as, as, a, as a secretary general, I used to walk around between committees and I, walk, well, I would walk into a committee and there's an unmod and I'm like, ah, oh, this is boring, I want to see debate. Or I'd walk into a moderated court because I'm like, ah, oh, I just want to chat with people. So why isn't this an unmod? With this now, uh, you see here, we only have one committee in this conference, but the demo committee is currently in, in an unmoderated caucus. Uh, this is the timer for the unmoderated caucus. So I even know how much time there's remaining and what it, it's worth still going there. And down here, you also see how they are doing in terms of uh, documents. So right now they have four draft resolutions introduced. Uh, this is our test conference uh, where we do a lot of demos. So this is why there's that many. But the key thing here is um, that it updates. Uh, so if you have uh, no documents, it says no documents. If you have a, a working paper, it's gonna say, uh, tell you how many working papers there are. And once you have the first draft resolution, it's gonna transition over into showing you how many draft resolutions you are. And that way as an admin, you can track or as Secretary General, you can track how all the committees are progressing individually. And on the right side here, so this is where things get really fun, uh, you can compare your committees. We only have one, so it's a bit boring in that view. But uh, you can see how many speeches in total were delivered in that committee. And you can even have graphs for other things like past motions and activity score uh, there. And if you go view more, this is where the magic happens, right? So this is now where as an admin, you can see the entire, uh, all delegates from your conference and how much, how active they were. And you can order them and rank them and, and just figure out how, how, which delegate was the most active. I remember in high school um, conferences, there used to be a best delegate of the, of the overall conference. Um, and maybe this can help you inform those decisions uh, as an, um, when, you, when, you, when you're an organizer or, or a secretary general and, and you have to make the decision. If you want to look into a specific committee, you can do that too by just selecting whichever committee and it's going to filter uh, for you uh, in that regard. Up here is the averages and obviously that filter didn't do anything just now because we only have one committee in that conference. All right, let's go back here and now let's go into the, the configure tab. Uh, so this is where you, you modify all the settings for your conference, uh, such as the key conference information, location, that sort of thing. You can add more admins. There's really no limit to how many you add. It's just slots that you take up. If you want a conference just full of admins, go ahead, we don't mind. Um, you can also add organizers, um, organizer, <laughs> for example, we have here. Um, so organizers are essentially admins light. They can do pretty much everything that admins can do, but they can't access the configure tab. So they can't add or kick delegates, um, but they can uh, upload documents, um, manage schedules, all that sort of thing that we're gonna get into in a bit. Um, 
They also have access to the announcement channel. So we obviously have a chat here in our main command as you need. So we don't have to do note passing anymore. And there's an announcement channel. So this announcement channel automatically, every delegate in your conference gets thrown into that group chat here. Uh, interestingly though, it's not really a group chat because delegates can't write in there. Only admins and organizers can. And you can now announce we're having lunch at 12 p 12, is it p.m.? I think it is 12 p.m. Yeah. Um, so everybody knows when you're having lunch. Mm. That's really fun. And uh, organizers can access that too. Um, you can obviously also create chats with anybody in the conference or group chats if you'd like that. Um, quite straightforward and easy. Now, uh, let's look at the customization section here in, in your configure tab. Um, and this is uh, where we have a couple of fun features and there's gonna be, we're gonna be adding more to this as we pro progress. So by the time you're uh, checking out this video, there might be more here already. But uh, the core of it is that here you can, uh, for, for, for uh, uh, being more uh, universally uh, friendly, uh, <laughs> just in case somebody uses a swear word in the chat, you can uh, replace that with love. Um, and, and this is how you do it. Uh, and you can also here uh, customize motions. Um, we're gonna we're working on making that more customizable even, but uh, what you can already do is you can reorder the disruptiveness um, just in case that's a bit different at your conference. And you can edit motions such that the motion description is changed. And you can even disable motions entirely, which is gonna kick them from the conference. If you disable a motion, um, the chairs won't uh, be able to access that committee mode anymore. Um, and delegates won't be able to submit that motion anymore. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, one more thing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, right here, um, you can edit the text description for those motions. Um, we're gonna have a look at what that looks like and what ex exactly that changes. So we're here in a delegate tab. Um, and if we go into motions here, let's go just maybe introduce working paper. There's a description down here, which explains you what a working paper is or whatever this motion does. Um, if you change the description over here as a chair, um, as, a, as an admin, that is gonna change for, uh, for delegates here and the chairs obviously too. So it really best adapts to your rules of procedure that you have in place at the conference. Now, let's get into the fun part. Uh, the committees, and here we have the demo committee. We can obviously add more committees as we like. Um, we can also add chairs uh, and delegates. Chairs, straightforward, you just add a person, fill in all those fields, invite, and boom, off it goes. Actually, maybe this is uh, something to go over uh, real quick too. Uh, as you invite somebody, be the chair, organizer, whatever, um, and you enter an email address here, um, they will get an email with a specific uh, invite uh, 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 token. Uh, we call it a, a conference key. So it's like a five digit key. And as a delegate then uh, creates an account, an account for me in command, um, they will be able to enter that key and uh, will be automatically put into your conference into the, the right slot and take up that slot that you invited them to take here. So it's a really, really straightforward and simple process um, that everybody should be able to work with really, really well. And it's proven uh, to be really, really reliable, which we're obviously happy with. Now, uh, let's have a look at how we add delegates because that's a bit more interesting. Um, so we have three ways mainly of adding delegates. Um, we can just select uh, countries from our list here. Maybe let's uh, can also use, uh, use the search function here, add Germany as well. Um, all right, that's plenty. Uh, like that. Um, now what we can also do is we can add custom members. So we can create a custom member like um, Mike Squad um, and we can even upload a little uh, individual profile picture uh, for that. Let's go with Jonas profile here. Um, and that's gonna just add that here. We click add and that's gonna add this custom country now which can re we, we can reuse throughout the entirety of the conference. Um, now what we can also do uh, is we can import people en masse, uh, so in, in, in large quantities, um, uh, by uploading an Excel spreadsheet, which we then process into invites. Um, so this is really straightforward. Uh, there's a template for that here on our homepage, which is linked here. You can download that, add all the details, and then upload that here. Um, if you do that, that means that all those fields, first name, last name, and email address, um, and also obviously the country uh, that is they should be taken, all that will uh, be filled in automatically. So you don't have to do that by hand. You can still do that for like the countries that we just added manually. Um, last name, uh, cap, and then we can enter an email address there, alex.myman.com. 
Um, and then we're going to actually just, ah, we don't need those. Um, and then we click invite delegates and we got a connection area. Well, this is fine. Uh, let's, let's go back here. Oops. Yeah, I was, I was, I was messing around earlier too much. Let's go again. Alex cap Alexander dip. Here we are. <laughs> that easy. Yeah, I was running uh, a test version earlier, which uh, which it had uh, still cached some of, and there we were messing around with that a bit. But that's how it works. Quite straightforward. Quite simple. Just add those countries. Yeah, I'm gonna get an email e uh, invite per e uh, via email now, uh, and I can register for the conference. All right. Now, if we head on over into the document section for the admin, um, that is really fun, and uh, this is where an admin can upload a document. Um, say uh, and, and at the moment so this is uh, either one of one of two uh, two ways so you can upload as a committee specific document as an admin meaning you upload it to one of your committees um, so this might be um, a study guide for example which you don't want everybody in the conference to see um, or you can upload a general document like um, your this is uh let's select a file real quick um, let's select Jonas picture again <laughs> uh, and we're gonna call it our conference brochure. Brochure, brochure. I, don't I don't know if that's an English word, but you have that, uh, you can upload that here. Um, and now everybody in the entire conference will see that brochure popping up for them. There you are, um, and, and that's quite simple and straightforward. Now, um, if you want, as an admin, sometimes you do want to do that, you want to check in on the committees, how, see how they're doing, what papers and documents they have. You can do that here and see all the documents in your committees. Um, really simple, straightforward. Now, uh, this is where things get really fun for the admin, because obviously you can have a conference brochure with all, all those details in there. Part of that can, however, also be uh, um, reflected in the conference app right here, which is the conference tab. Here, as an admin, you can boop, add events to your schedule um, with all sorts of details, event description, dress code, all sorts of things. You can even add a file um, to add to those events if you need that. Um, and then we have the goodie bag. So the, the, the dream here really is to make conferences a bit more sustainable um, and at the same time offer conferences a space where they can really uh, provide an extra offering for for spa partners and sponsors and give them a really built-in exposure. Um, so your conference becomes more attractive to, to sponsors um, and uh, you can just make better and more amazing conferences um, for them. Um, now, uh, as, you, as you see here, you have this ad partner section here. You can also upload a file with that, so the, uh, a voucher, uh, we call it. Um, so the idea really here is that if you're working with like a coffee shop or something, um, you can upload your voucher and it might be a QR code or something. And then um, this can be uh, registered uh, at, at that shop, for example. And, um, I, you know, you can really build, build in some, some nice benefits there for your people, uh, for your participants. All right. And that's it already. Admin doesn't have a dashboard. Um, that's reserved for chairs and delegates. Um, and this is the admin view. At the moment, um, um, Chairs, uh, admins cannot also at the same time on the same account uh, be a chair or a delegate. So if you want to do that, uh, you just have to create a new invite and uh, register a new account. So you have to use a different email address and create a new account for that. And then you will have to switch logins um, and log in and out uh, as you transition between them. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, we're looking uh, forward to hearing you from you. We're, we're, if you have any feedback, we'd obviously also love to hear that. Uh, at the moment, we're in beta version Peach T, um, which is our third beta iteration. Um, so we're getting uh, to really, really good and stable platform. Um, but obviously, there's some kinks here and there still. And uh, if you find any of those, feel, uh, be sure to let us know. Um, we're excited to hear from you. Uh, with that being said, uh, oh yeah, if you have any uh, anything that you want to would love to see in a video in more detail, be sure to let us know. Um, we love uh, to hear from you and. Uh, have a great day and see you soon and debate better.